Okay, Comica CVM VM10 K2. This is a um, video system or a mic mic system and tripod and clamp for your smartphone. Multifunction smartphone video kit, they're calling it. Uh, there's some stickers over here. Amazon decided to put the labels on the box, um, but there you go. If you manage to peel one off, you can somewhat see it. Oh, well, we got super cardioid mic, mini and light support iOS and Android. Easy to install, uh, flexible com combination, CNC processing. There's a picture of what you're getting, obviously without the smartphone. And you also don't get a shell either. And it's saying there the main features, you want to see that, you can pause it. So let's take a little look in here. All right, so pulling it out of the box. It is in a case here. It's a nice little carry case, padded, I believe, has the logo there on a rubberized uh, label. We also have a nice strong handle, again with a rubberized handle grip part. Nice quality. Feels like it could be water resistant. I'm not quite sure. I'm not, I'm not an expert with materials, but I'm thinking that's water resistant. Let's unzip it. All right, it's unzipped. Open it up. We have a few things at the top here. We have a nice net pocket here, elastic, elasticated net pocket with, I believe is gonna be the instruction guide. Yep, it's a fold out type. Um, I can't see it being much really to say about this. There's a quick glimpse there. Here we go. That's a four word there. We've got some notices. Wanna click pause and read these. Uh, that's the first part of the instructions there. And the operation, there we have some stats there about the uh, frequency response and a polar pattern check that out and we also have some specs right there i think you can see that if you pause it i'm wiggling a little bit too much there and we have what's included there which is the mic I'm wiggling too much can't stop wiggling got the mic the mic shock holder we got a windscreen okay we have a wind muff, otherwise known as a dead cat. And we have carrying case and we have camera audio cable, smartphone audio cable. Okay, cool. Next bit here is the uh, warranty card, warranty instruction. Also up in the top here, we've got audio cable. Oh, it's a nice uh, extendable one. We have a three pole. This is the side, I think that's gonna go into the microphone itself. It's a three pole connector. I like the fact that it's L shape as well. If you know me, you know I think all plugs should be L shape. And this is a four pole connector right here, this gray end. So this will go into your smartphone. Yep, it says there for smartphone. So this goes into the smartphone itself because smartphones take four poles because they have audio left, right, and they also have a microphone and they need a power pole. Whereas a regular plug will only have three poles for left, right, and power. Little information there for you. And it's nice to the color coded gray, so it's easy and it's got a label on it. So it's easy to know which is which without having to look closely. All right, down here we have the Dead Cat type cov wind cover. That's cool, I didn't know we were gonna get that. Uh, we have a pack of silica. Always need a pack of silica. I could have a collection of those. All right, so I like the I like the case, nice sponge, well protected. First year we have the tripod itself, very similar to the uh, Monfrotto ones, if you're familiar with those. Branded there, Comica, nice. Put the legs up here. I gotta say, the quality of it is nice. It feels like good quality. It's nice, lovely and sturdy. I can't wiggle that. That's nice and nice and sturdy there. We have rubber grips at the bottom. Nice rubber grips at the bottom there to keep it sturdy on the table. At the top here, we've got a rotating plate, again with rubber grip to protect your camera then, to hold it nice and tight, so that goes up and down. So you can use this as a quarter inch screw. You can use that with any camera. It hasn't got to be this system. You could use it with another camera if you have that. And we have here, I presume this is a release button. So if I push that in, I should be able to move. Yep, I can move the ball head. Pretty hard to do with one hand, mind. Probably be easier once I've got the camera on top of this. But there you go, that's, that's how that works. You press it in. Uh, so it seems lovely and sturdy. That does not want to move while that is released. If I can zoom in here, you can see there's all ridges on this ball, which makes it nice and grippy. So the grip inside there will hold it nice and tight. You don't have a smooth ball in there because obviously smoothness equals moveness, <laughs> if that's a thing. But the nice, nice rough edge like that, rough surface like that makes it 
um, completely stable and grippy. All right, next up we have the clamp. Decent little weight on this. Um, it's plastic, but it feels like a good plastic. Same as the tripod itself. It's a nice plastic, nice quality plastic. So this is the grip here that will hold your smartphone. I can feel nice soft rubber pads in both sides of this grip so it doesn't damage the bezel of your phone. We have the turning knob here which is going to open it up. I'm not sure how wide it goes but my phone is pretty wide, at least the one I'm going to use in this kit is anyway. So yeah that's nice, it uh, feels good, it feels like there's a metal inner workings of this. I got a, a quarter inch screw hole at the top, not sure why. There's one at the bottom as well. This is the one I presume is gonna go onto the tripod itself. Also has a pad, I'm not sure if this is sticky. It's a sticky, okay, there's rubber, rubberized sticky pad under there. Not sure why, I won't take that off. I guess just for extra protection, extra grip. We have a tightening nut in there for use on this hole. Uh, it feels like metal, although the rest of it's plastic. This nut here feels metal, feels cold. So that's always welcome. The more metal parts, the better. And we just got some screw holes there. We also have a cold shoe at the top there. That's cool. All right, I'm just gonna mount this on real quick. I can do it with one hand. So I can just turn this around and get it on. Yeah, there you go, it is on. So if we press this in, now I can move it around a lot easier because I have more leverage now. Yeah, that's really good. It's really tight. Once you release this button, it does not want to move. It can if you put too much pressure on it, it can just get it to move, but otherwise it's, it's really sturdy. That's cool, I like the quality on that. All right, last but not least. Oops, I'm pulling out all the form. Making a right mess. All right, we got the mic itself there. Feels a nice weight. We got the wind defender on it. Pop that off. Hmm. And we can see it is very similar to the Rode Video Micro that I have. Um, I also did a review on that. Very similar in design, like a mini shotgun type mic. Got the shock mount there. It is plastic, but it feels good. It has good elasticity on it. I think I said that right. Uh, so feels like it'll do the job nicely. Got the cold shoe down there. Also has a quarter inch screw mount there. So you can mount this directly onto something, onto a magic arm or something if you need to. Got the 3.5 mil jack on the back and of course the grill on the front, silver grill. And also holes on the side, you can see the grill inside there to pick up surrounding audio, hence the cardio pattern. Uh, let's pop this off, has a nice grip on it in all fairness. So that's the mic itself, probably about three, three and a half inches long. Branded Comica, has the model number on it, video microphone, assembled in China, CE mark, that's always good to see. Nice and solid, is metal, it's all metal construction, just like the video micro by Rode. Quite impressed with the build quality, it's very nice. There are the two side by side. We've got the Rode Video Micro there, and we got the Comica there. They're very similar in size. I think the Comica is about five mil, five to seven mil taller, but width-wise, they're practically the same. Very similar in design, as you can see. Both metal construction. You can hear them. Nah, not knocking together there. All right, so let's test this baby out. Here's the phone I'm gonna be trying on it. It's a wide one, Ellie Phone S8. And I gotta unscrew this some more to get it in. Don't forget, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Oh, is that wide enough? Oh yes, yeah, perfect. Just a little bit of tightening to do on that. Righty tighty. All right, lovely grip. That's not going anywhere, it's not moving at all because it's rubberized on both top and bottom, so that ain't moving at all. Let's get the mic set up on top. All right, so the mic is just gonna slot into the cold shoe up here, and then we'll tighten that down. Lovely stuff, there it is. Now plugging it in. I did notice though, there's only one lead. This is for the smartphone, as I said, because of that plug. In the guide, it did say there'd be two leads, but I don't know why there's only one. Perhaps I'm wrong. Right now then, for smartphones like this, it doesn't have 3.5 mil jack, so it all goes off the USB-C. Uh, a lot of phones are like this these days, so they usually come with an adapter. Got the USB-C plug on the one end, and it's got a 3.5 mil jack on the other. So this comes with the phone, so I need to plug this in, like that, and then plug 
the mic into the end of this. I'm amazed I'm doing this with one hand. Ah, always makes it easier when you've got an L ship. All right, so that is it. It is set up, completely set up. So let's turn on the phone. Should be the L fingerprint ball. There you go. Go into camera. Where is the cat? There it is. All right, one quick thing to note, I couldn't get it using the standard camera app on the phone. So what I have to do, and what you'll probably have to do, is download Open Camera. It's available in the Google Play Store for free. It's actually a better app anyway. So we want to switch to video mode by clicking there. And what you need to do is go to the settings, go to video settings, and then you'll have record audio, make sure that is checked on and you'll have audio source by default it's set to camcorder you want to change it to external mic if present so select that and then it will record from the input whether that be a 3.5 mil jack or a USB-C so that is the app you'll probably need to use it may work on your phone I've only got this phone to try out really but um, as I said Open Camera is a free app anyway. So you just go into Google Store, Google Play Store, and type in Open Camera, and this is what it looks like. Mark Harmon, install that, and you're good to go. So it's a very good app anyway, and it's for free. All right, let's do a test. I'll do a base test first with just the built-in mic, so I'll unplug, I'll unplug the microphone for now. I'll do a base test with just the phone's mic. And then I will do another test with the mic plugged in. All right, so this is test number one. This is a base test. The um, Comica mic is not plugged in at this point. What you're hearing now is straight into the smartphone's mic as standard. So um, we're going to do this test and then we're going to switch it now to the Comica mic. All right, so now the Comica mic is plugged in. Uh, put my, my fingernail on the... You can hear that? Uh, so it's plugged in. Hopefully it's sounding a lot louder and clearer. I'm looking at the wrong side. That's the, the lens. I was looking at the logo. I haven't got my glasses on, see? All right, so there's the lens I got you now. Uh, so hopefully it's coming through much louder and clearer. Now I have the Comica Mug mic plugged in. Got to show an improvement on the built-in mic for the phone. Um, for this phone, of course, I'm using a, an adapter that converts the 3.5 mil jack into a, a USB-C jack so i'm using that with this it came with the phone it should come with yours if you've got a, a usb-c and you haven't got a 3.5 mil jack then you should have an adapter if not i think you can buy them online anyway so um hopefully the sound is um coming through nice and clear so i'll leave this test here and we'll see what it's like in the edit all right so as you can see this is a great piece of kit for 70 quid you're getting a great increase in your audio if you shoot a lot of films with your cell phone uh, perhaps you're a vlogger or whatever it's an awesome piece of kit to get because as phones developing now they're all doing like 4k and stuff so the video is brilliant on the phones now but smartphones do lack in the audio department because they can only get tiny little mics into these devices uh, so they're just relying on basic cheap mics telephone mics basically to record audio but at least using one of these kits you get a great quality audio to supplement the video if you are a, a content creator for YouTube or Vimeo or whoever uh, and you use your cell phone then you can't go wrong with one of these it's got my thumbs up so I'll see you in the next one ciao blau for now peace